Howdy folks, another inside video today. So, um, based off of what I was doing a couple of weeks ago with the photo rally points, I did miss having a GPS or something like that sitting up in front of me. Now, folks who um, have been following me for a while know that when I had the GS, I had the Navigator 5. So I kept the actual Navigator 5 unit when I sold the GS. Um, but it doesn't go, I don't have the uh, nav set up on the RS. So my options were, you know, put something third party on it or get the retrofit done to uh, for the sat nav prep, which has the sort of turny clicky wheel and the, um, the, the cradle right there in front of me. So I rang around um, and got a couple of quotes for getting the um, sat nav prep retrofitted because the clicky wheel is kind of nice and the stats that it collects off of the bike, it collects into the, it connects into the bike CCU and um, tells you interesting statistics and stuff. So I went around, saw how much it was. It's 800 euro. So I'm like, eh, no. <laughs> I like the uh, clicky wheel, I don't like it that much. So um, I'm gonna look at other options. Uh, this might be one video or it might be a couple, but uh, we'll see. So what I'm after picking up um, just in the meantime is, so I have this, which actually came with the Navigator 5. So this is the um, third party cradle. Um, so for other bikes apart from BMWs or for, you know, if you don't have the um, prep, like in my case. So there's no clicky wheel, but you have buttons along the side here for various bits and bobs. And it, it you know, sticks in there. So. This has two sort of things on it. There's the accessory power um, port and then there's the data port which goes into um, the bike itself. Now, I don't know whether this is going to work straight out of the box or if you need to reprogram the bike CCU or some shit like that. One of the quotes that I got included, uh, you know, a quote for reprogramming the bike. And I'm just like, okay. So my plan is to stick this onto the bike, see if all of that stuff works. Uh, by default if it doesn't then I'm gonna just scrap this. I'm just gonna use something um, Completely uh, out of the box. So what I have picked up is uh, Ram mount stuff. So ram mounts are fairly well known um, Bits um, they you know do stuff for cars and for bikes and for various other stuff and it's all based off of um, the sort of uh, half inch ball connector. So there's the ball and then there's uh, this clip here. Let me open these up actually. So there you have it. So there's the ball and there's a sort of a clippy thing which you then tighten onto the ball. Uh, and you know another one on the other side. And then that holds whatever you have really solidly. Um, this thing here I got is for going into the headstock. Um, so it you replace one of your bolts in your headstock with this it goes through and it just sort of sits there and that's your ball on this side and you go boom and then on the other side you've got your unit so that'll go into the top of the rs so i think this stuff is getting used regardless whether i actually go ahead then and put this onto that or something else is um up to whether this works or provides anything useful um this came with the mounts which is uh, sort of a, a kit for attaching on to the regular Garmin um, backplate. So this is a regular Garmin backplate to ram mount. So let's see if it fits. All right, that seems to fit. So there's your cradle. Uh, the backing plate goes onto it and it's got a ram mount and that's, that's solid on. Um, and then you tighten it up and it's not going anywhere. And I may end up seeing if I can replace this so you can't just tum, untighten it and rob the cradle off the bike. All right, let's go outside and see what the story is. All right, so it is alleged that the accessory power port is underneath the right side uh, tank fern. So let's get that off and uh, see what we can see.
All right, I'm taking both of the side panels off. Fairly handy to take off, just take off the um, screws with the uh, little yoke that comes out of your tool kit, which is under your seat. Um, the one annoying bit is this whole piece comes off, but if you look in there, there's a sort of a clip. So you have to see it there. So you have to push the hole fair and forward to unclip it and then up. And you have to use a little bit of force to get it to go up but it eventually will come off for you. There you go. So that's fair enough. Okay, now we have the right side um, tank cover off. This is what you're looking for in here. So here's one of our uh, little uh, connectors. The other one is in there somewhere. I'll have a little poke around, but we'll get this one out. We'll snip that cable tie and we'll pull it out. And we'll have a look at it. All right, that's the... Uh, cable tie snipped off so that pulls out like that and there it is um, this is the power connector and I actually am at a loss as to where the uh, the plug-in for the data is um, and I've since kind of had a little think and figured that I'm actually not that bothered and so I'm gonna just go with the power connector so Back to the drawing board, let's go back inside and have a look at what else we got. Okay, so I have pulled that up through into here and so it uh, came off this sort of loom that comes up from the middle of the bike and um, I've checked everything else that comes off and I'm pretty sure that goes down to the indicators and this comes up to the uh, handlebars for other stuff and I don't see uh, the data cable there at all. Or the ECU cable so I'm gonna declare fuck it and just go with uh, power um, and see what uh, works and what doesn't work all right that's the fairness of seats back on I'm gonna take a look at this now uh, putting the RAM mount on um, so basically pick one of these I guess and uh, stick it on and see if you can get it in the most inobtrusive place so nope all right all right, so after checking a couple of these, looks to be about a T45. So you uh, get your socket wrench and pull out one of these. Let's uh, try that one. All right. Just take the one out. There we go. We'll see how long it is. Not long at all. So let's get the shortest one here. Come out of there. So this is the shortest one. It looks about right, maybe a bit long, so let's see how we go. That's a hex screw. Perfect first time. That's a H606 mm. Um, there. Shove it on in and see how it looks. It's not as intrusive as I thought it would look. I mean, it's, uh, it's not all the way in. Yep, there it is. So, there it is. Doesn't look great, but we'll see. All right. So that's not going anywhere. 
we'll tighten that up. And actually, that can go down there. No, we won't connect up the power for now, but one thing I was happy enough with is since you can uh, pull the little power socket up again and up and out so you can actually access it without taking the bike apart at all. So um, that's kind of nice. Means if I want to take this off uh, for, let's be honest, most of my riding, I don't need a GPS. So I can take this off handy enough. So let me actually get on the bike and see how it is. Just, uh, yeah, it'll be right up there. It's not getting in the way of your dashboard or your keys or anything. Give it a full look. Yeah, that'll be pretty nice. Uh, just make sure the bike isn't complaining about having been taken apart. No, the bike doesn't give a shit. Right. Okay, I'll connect it up and we'll see if the bike gives a shit then. So there's a little uh, blanking cap on the top here. Uh, it's not very obvious, but it's a blanking cap. Just pull the clip out a little bit and pull it off. Come here. So that's it there. Just put that aside in case you want to take your GPS off again at some point. And uh, of the two thing I was here, we're only going to use the white one, so I might just tape this one off. Um, it looks like it's exposed there, so I'll get some gaffer tape and tape it off. But uh, looks like these go together like so. Uh, and if I was leaving this as is, you can push that back in under the um, air intake and it's nice and waterproof and that it's not sitting out there. So uh, I should go in and grab the GPS and see um, how it goes. All right, here we go, here we are. The moment of truth. Come off. That's not going anywhere, is it? Brilliant. BMW Motorrad, uh, there's a good sign. Loading maps, tell me if you have power sorted out. Installing down the contents, all right. I think we're gonna fast forward this bit or, or do a short dream sequence while this thing updates itself after I've been turned off for months and months. There you go. Uh, tell me if you are getting power. You are getting power. All right. Uh, do these buttons work? View map. Okay, there we go. It's not very bright, but you'll see there that the buttons on the side are doing something. So that's pretty nice. Uh, there you go. Different things that you can see. Uh, obviously the... Let me see. This stuff here isn't getting filled in because... Uh, it's not connected to the bike, so that's kind of shite, but what can you do? External power has been lost. Okay, so here we go. Power. There we go. Power. Brilliant. That's all I really wanted. Uh, and these buttons work, and I can do without being told how many times I pressed my brake pedal yesterday. Um, so that is happy out. Uh, and you can whip it off there. And there's a little blank and plate which I fecked on the ground. Um, and that is there and let me see I'll just get off and I can actually an added bonus is I can have this thing whipped off in about two seconds so I can take that unplug that and then take that ram mount off and if I care about that I can have that off in about two minutes um, so that's a bit of a bonus. Um, I probably want to do something to keep that waterproofed when it's not in use, uh, but that's handy enough. Um, so there you go.
that's my tinkering for today. Uh, RAM mounts and uh, Navigator 5, so I'm all set for GPS action for, uh, for future stuff. And all these parts, this and this and this cost less than 100 euro, all told. So that's a good bit less than 800 euro. So happy out. Um, one thing I may end up doing, um, aside from this, is replace this here with a non-thumb screw so somebody can't rob the cradle off the bike, but I'm paranoid like that. Alright, that'll do for today. See you all again next time.